I'm Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to set up a custom lock screen, in this case to wind down before bed, on your iPhone. In order to customize your lock screen, first you're going to lock your iPhone. Then you're going to turn it on, try to unlock it, and you press and hold. Big customize button. Let's set up a new lock screen, because now you can have multiple lock screens. This is a lot of options. You can just take one of their stock ones that's going to have font and widgets and stuff already ready to go, or you can customize your own. Here's some of the options. But I'm gonna scroll down to Photo Shuffle, and I'm actually going to pick an album. Select photos manually from an album. Since this is to wind down before bed, I'm going to pick some adorable sleepy Pokemon. I'll hit add, and then there's a few options you can adjust. You can add more photos or select particular ones. And then these little dots to the right, this says, how often do you want it to shuffle? I can shuffle it once every day, once every hour, when I lock it or when I tap it. I think I'm gonna do it when I lock it. There's this pinch to crop so you can decide how you want it to align this thing that says natural, and you can pick different ways to have it look, but I probably just wanna go with natural. If you are using a photo of an actual person, it will give you some depth effect options. What it means is, do you want the person, if there's in one, to have some depth so that the numbers sort of are behind the person and the background is behind the numbers? Don't do this if you actually wanna see your widgets. Next, we can actually change the font. You can change colors. It's not infinite, but there are options. Since this is before bed, I'm gonna pick the most relaxing one, nice round numbers. Since these images are all fairly light in color, I'm gonna pick something pretty dark, like a nice dark blue. Okay, let's set up some widgets. These aren't widgets like are on your home screen with lots of different options and they can be colors and give lots of information. No, no, no. If you have an Apple Watch, this is going to be a lot more like those little complications. Tap Add Widgets. You see there's a whole bunch of ones we can pick from. Battery is a good idea. Maybe it'll tell me the battery life of my watch. Tell me if I need to charge it. Let's see for something from weather. I think before bed, a very appropriate thing to see is sun up and sun down. Sometimes if it's gonna rain, that's a nice one to have. You can also rearrange them. Quality index, probably a good idea. There we go. You can also tap on the date and it'll give you a few options there. It doesn't actually have to be the time and date anymore. Although with as many years of muscle memory as I have of looking for the lock screen of my phone for the date, I think I would be in trouble if I didn't have the date on there. But you do actually have some other options that you could use. And there we go. Now it's gonna ask if you wanna save as a wallpaper pair. You'll notice this is basically the same colors, but it's a little bit blurred out. That'll make it a little bit easier to see the little icons on your phone. I'm actually a big fan. I've felt like I needed to use very plain backgrounds behind my icons for a long time, so my eyes and brain didn't get too tired looking for the right thing. But you don't have to. You could completely individualize your wallpaper, whatever you like. But I'm gonna set as a wallpaper pair. See this little button that says focus? You can actually link that to a focus mode. When you turn the wallpaper on, it'll turn on the focus mode. Or when you turn on the focus mode, it'll turn on the wallpaper. It's another little way to remind you what time of day it is and what should I be doing right now. FYI, notifications are actually now down at the bottom as a stack by default. All right, what are you excited about with this customized new look? What moods will you set with your lock screen? Share in the comments below. I'd love to see all your ideas. Until next time. Let's add some widgets. These aren't like the widgets on your lock screen. I mean, nope, these are the lock screen.